So I want to start by talking about some ways of, different ways of how you can read the Bible. Are you with me? Okay, number one, read the Word of God cover to cover. Cover to cover. Basically, reading from Genesis to Revelation. And, and you know, this, this, this generation, especially in the days of technology, we have a lot of applications, a lot of apps and a lot of uh, softwares that allow us to actually be able to do that much easier than it was before. Like, there are, there are a lot of uh, calendars that allow you, that guide you of how many chapters you must read today. One of the good apps that are well-known app is an app called YouVersion. So if you have an iOS or an Android, search for YouVersion on your phone. They have a calendar of how you can, how many chapters you must read, and, and, and there, there's different options. You can finish reading the Bible in three months, and you can finish reading the Bible in six months and a year. And one thing beautiful about the app is that you can share the app with your family and friends. So they can keep you accountable. Like they can know how much of it that you are reading and, you know, where you are, your meditation, your notes. It's really something beautiful that you should try. Find resources that helps you go throughout the Bible. It's a very important activity that you can take up. So ask the Lord to give you the grace, if you have never done that before, that you'd be able to read the Scripture cover to cover, the entire Bible. At least once you should have done that. Amen. The, the second thing, studying a book by a book in the Bible. So not necessarily you, 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 you need to follow a certain pattern. You can probably study the book of Romans. It's, it's one of the very beautiful uh, books in the Bible, especially when you want to understand how your salvation works and your walk with God. It's a powerful word. Pick up books and study certain books of the scriptures and dig deep. Why was it written? Where was it? What context was it written? Who was it written to? So you understand the scripture in a deeper fashion. Number three, study by team. Study by team. So not necessarily that you go from cover to cover, not necessarily you study a book. You can study a topic, a study a subject. Like if you want to understand the grace of God, it's a vast subject. So use Use many resources. For example, if you go online, you can find concordance or, or Bible references. So on one subject, you can dig deep on, on where you can go in that subject, in that context. And that is something that helps people understand certain subjects that you would otherwise have little information. You can dig deep on that particular subject. Fourth way of, of, of studying the scripture is very powerful, the memorization of the scriptures. Now, this is very critical. This is very critical. Let me read a verse for you. Psalms 119 and verse 11. The Bible says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Can I read that again? I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So basically, what the scripture is saying that is that the more you have the scriptures in your heart, the more you have the strength to fight sin. Are you following what I'm saying? There is a powerful verse that says, the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance the word, the scriptures. In other words, if you don't have the scripture inside you, the Holy Spirit cannot bring to your memory what you, don't, what you have not fed into your memory. Are you following what I'm saying? So you have to repeat it as you read the scriptures. This is something that you could do. Um, I'm not great with remembering words, the number uh, or the chapter or the words where, where it is in the Bible. But one thing that I, I, I realize that most of, most of the powerful verses that is in the depth of my heart came from my mother teaching me these scriptures. So as a little boy, my mother would sit me down. It, it didn't last too long, but when I was a little boy, she would sit me down. And she would quote verses after verses after verses. And all of that was in my heart. I didn't even realize until when I went out to college. And there would be certain situations and certain circumstances where I didn't know what to do or how I should react. And my mother's voice and that scriptures would come back to my memory. 
And the Lord would use that scriptures to guide me. So as you read the scripture, find out one verse that sticks to your heart and write it down and carry it with you and memorize it and let that scripture go into your heart and you will see that God will use that scripture to strengthen you and stand against the sin. Amen? Number five. Now this is important. Daily devotion of scriptures or meditation of the scriptures. Now that is completely different from the study of scriptures. Sometimes people confuse both. But I personally feel that they are two different things. You can study the scripture. You can research the scripture. Where it says there is a point where you meditate on the scripture so that God can speak to you from that scripture. From that scripture. Where God will use that scripture for guidance for that day, for that week, for that month. And sometimes people make it all about study and research. And they take that personalization that relationship out of the scripture. But it's very important for us to know that that book that you hold is the word of the living God. It is God. How many of you understand what I'm saying? The word is God. The word is Jesus. That scripture that you hold in your hand is Jesus. So if Jesus wants to speak to you, don't look up to the ceiling you just need to open your Bible. Did you hear what I'm saying? Because some of us are just waiting for some earthquake to come and heaven to tear open and the doubt to fly down. Hey, just open your Bible. All of that happens right in your hands, in your Bible. Okay. Joshua 1.8. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Study, I'm reading from the NLT version. It's, it's a more simplified version. Study this book of instructions continually. Continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. See, it's very interesting. Meditating on it day and night will cause you to obey what is written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Wow. Let's read from the ESV version. The book of law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night. Be careful to do according to all that is written. All that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. Hold your Bibles in your hands. Do you have a Bible in your hand? That Bible is Jesus speaking to you. Are you following what I'm saying? So prosperity, success, does not come from your education. Your blessings don't come from the inheritance of your father. Your blessings don't come because of the salary at, that is offered, your boss, your job. No, your blessing comes from honoring the scripture. 